Right, but the pit lane is going to get busy. And part of this now is not only going onto the slick tyre, but how quickly you can get the car turned around to be at the front of the queue of those leaving the pit lane. In fact, yes, you can see how many gaps there are. So there's a whole raft of cars in the pit lane. We, in the meantime, need to concentrate on the track because the lights in a moment will go red. We've had the five-second board, and then round eight of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship set to go. It is blast off, and a good getaway by Hill. Good start by the Toyota on the inside of Andrew Watson, then, as they run up towards Riches for the first time. Bobby Thompson not quite so well out of the blocks this time, but it's Jake Hill with a good lead already as they work their way up towards Riches. And now we've got this mass exodus of cars from the pit lane as everybody else battles their way up through Riches, and there's a delay for some leaving the pit lane. Ingram, I think, had stalled, so Sutton has gone, and there's a whole queue behind that were delayed getting out. But it is now raining once more. I did mention a lap or two ago that it had clouded over, so a sprinkling of rain comes, and that's going to throw the calculations up into the air, isn't it? And not on the racetrack is Andrew Watson, who throws away second place to Camish, and third to Thompson, and fourth to Cook. And Sutton's off again. Has he hit the tyres? Looks like he has. And this, this is exactly what I feared by staying out on yeah. slicks. You risk crashing the car. Jake Hill is about to come then up towards his career win number 14, his second of the day, to continue this trend this year of the race one and race two winners being the same. But if there's been a better drive by Jake Hill, I can't remember it. This has been an outstanding performance. Jake Hill wins again at Snetterton. A fantastic drive. Jake Hill dominates race two of the day.